The other two reports that are essential to any business is the trade debtors outstanding at the moment, are there any falling behind, and are trade creditors telling me basically what I've got to pay in the near future. If I go to reports, I have clicked on accounts and banking. For my debtors report, I need to click on sales. At the top, it gives me my sales, an aging summary and an aging detail. The one I actually use is the reconciliation detail. This will tell me that my listing of outstanding amounts is reconciled or is the same as my general ledger balance for what is in there. There are times that can occur when the listing on my reconciliation data will not agree. The reason for that is that I've included in there receipts which have not yet been applied against invoices. It may be that they are deposits against an invoice to be raised in the near future. If I click on reconciliation detail and customise, it will ask me, do I want to a list of all customers? Yes, generally speaking. Receivables as of that date and the number of days to be shown is since the invoice date, or do I want to have a look at the days overdue using the invoicing terms? Now, if I had four sales clerks whose duty was not only to invoice customers and to sell to those customers, but also to make sure they paid their money, maybe I'd like to do a listing of the customers, and I could do that listing either by customers all and then just select the ones that apply. I can untick them all and then just say, well, for this particular sales clerk, these are the only two he needs to look at, and I can click OK. I'm not going to do that at the moment. Click OK. So I'm going to get a list of all my customers, because I don't have too many, as of today's date, which is the 31st of March, and the ageing method is going to be the days overdue using the invoice terms. If I click display, I will get a list of all the invoices. So I can see my customer, my contact there is Fred Smith. I've got his phone number. I've got an ID for my invoice number, the date it was invoiced, the amount he owes me on it, and it tells me here what is current, what is 1 to 30 days past current, what is 31 to 60 days past current, and what is 60 plus past current. I think with this information, I will be picking up the phone and ringing Fred on 12321599 and saying, G'day Fred, would you like to pay some of what you owe me? You owe me $7,463.50. He says, oh, not according to my records. You talk about which invoices he's got outstanding, and he says, invoice number 11. No, I don't have that one. Ah, it was four, and if I put my cursor above the 264, you can see that it changes into a magnifying glass. If I click on the 264... It tells me that it was for $244 plus $20. I'll have a look at the actual invoice. And $264. And I've got tax included in there of $20. Seems a little bit strange. I'd have to have a look at that a bit in more detail. However, he says, I haven't got that one. Oh, would you like a copy of it? He says, yeah, yeah, why not? Can you send it to me? Click on send to at the bottom. You can click on fax. He's got the invoice coming through now. Or you click on email if he doesn't have a fax machine. It should be with him in, what, average time, a minute or so. In fact, while he's still talking, if he checks his email, he should probably have it by now. Oh, he says, okay, I've got it. It was for whatever items it was. 
I can close that and we can go back to the list. He says, I'll pay you 7000 by the end of next week. I will pay you 5000 tonight and the rest tomorrow. What you might like to do at this stage then is go to My Customer, go to your contact log, dating from today's date, click Actions, click Create a New Log Entry, your contact, if I look on the down, I've only got Fred Smith. No, it's promised $5,000 overnight today, expect the rest tomorrow. Balance seven days, 20th of March 2013, today being the 13th. When do I want to recontact him? I want MYB to give me a reminder when I come in tomorrow morning, oh, did Fred pay me the $5,000 he promised? If I put in there a recontact date, 14th of March, when I come in tomorrow on my to-do list, this will come up in my contact log to recontact him. Click record. I've now created a contact log for him, recording my conversation. I can now go back to his profile or I can click OK, close the card and move on to my customer number one, who again is $900. I can repeat the process. Customer number two, I can repeat the process. I've now made efforts to collect the $14,263.50 I'm owed. I'll be in a lot more better financial position by the end of the week, I hope. It tells me out of the bottom here that the balance due on my receivables account is $14,263.50. It also shows me my out-of-balance amount. If I've got an out-of-balance amount, I need to investigate it. There are reports that will show up fairly quickly what those out of balance might be and we'll handle those in the advanced class. Generally speaking, it will always be zero. Click close and that is our trade debtors. We can now look at purchases and our trade creditors and again I like to look at the reconciliation detail. I can customise that. Payables as of the 31st of March, which is today's date. All suppliers, very similar to the trade debtors, and days overdue using the purchase terms. If I click display, it tells me that I am 60 days overdue, or more than 60 days overdue, on paying the big supplier. $2,550. I really ought to get around to paying him. And again, my good supplier is in the same boat. My customs agent, well, he's not so bad, but I'm surprised he's still talking to me. They normally like to be paid very, very quickly and very promptly. And again, at the bottom, my $9,350 out of balance amount zero. It agrees with my ledger. That's terrific. I can actually pay my payables from this list. So if I go up to my list and work out that I really want to pay this amount, again, if I click on the $2,000, it'll show me the amount was $2,500. I've already paid $500 last week. It was a credit note. That's why it wasn't. If I click on the white, up it comes. Do I want to make a payment? Down the bottom here, it tells me that I can in create a payment. If I click on payment, it will come up with the big supplier, the statement text, my company payment. I may want to put in, in that statement text, what my company reference number is, is with the big supplier. Do I want to pay all? If I do, I can click on pay all. If I only want to pay the first two or some of the first two, I can pick $2,000 to apply against the first part, $2,000 against the second part, which tells me my total applied is now $4,000. OK, if I press tab, it will then group the amount with my electronic payments. If I'm not paying electronically, 
and I want to send him a check because he's hassled me and I thought you can wait three days for it to clear. If I click on pay from account and change the account up there to the check account, I could actually use that account and pay him by check. Or maybe I found a different way and I'm using a different account to pay him. Maybe a credit card account rather than a check account or an electronic payment. My total applied is 4,000. I need to fill in the amount. If I click on the amount, it'll fill in the 4,000. If I press tab, the out of balance changes from minus 4,000 to it's not out of balance. And again, I can pay all. It may be that you may have a couple of cents difference on what you're actually paying if you're paying cash and against what the invoices come to if you are paying electronically. Again, you can use the finance charge to balance it out. All I've got to do now is to click on record. And my big supplier is paid. I can cancel out of here. I can close there. And there is my report showing the balance is reconciliation. If I click on redisplay, it leaves the 500 outstanding from number four, the 550 from number six. I'm not looking as bad as I was. This is a very useful report. It tells me where I need to spend money with my suppliers over the next month, the month after, and important in terms of managing my cash flow. If I click close, it will take me back to the listing of reports. If I close that, I'm now back at my command centre.